What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we are going to talk about something that was that has been very requested to me which is uh, which team do I use on uh, arena defense and which characters do I think are best for arena defense it's not, uh, I'm gonna say the 20 characters that I think are best for arena defense and then uh, I'm gonna justify why they are and the combinations you can make with another characters to make uh, your arena defense sort of decent. But before we start that, once again, I want to say thanks to everyone who liked my last videos about Squirrel Girl, about the Emma Frost, where I did a little rant, and about Beast. Uh, interesting characters. I think uh, uh, we'll be having some good time with them in the future, but it's too early to see and to know about all that. Once again, I want to remind that 60%, uh, now it's 65% of my viewers are not subscribed yet. So if you find my channel helpful and the things I say, consider subscribing, it really helps me out. And uh, my Discord is going uh, uh, good. Uh, if you guys want to join my Discord, you have to become a member on my YouTube channel. This option only shows up if you are a Windows user or Android user. So if uh, you are an iPhone uh, or iOS user, you have to use your browser. Otherwise, that option will not show up and you will not be able to join the Discord. Okay, with all that out of the way, we are going to talk about the best characters, the 20 best characters, and then we'll talk about the combinations we can do. It's in no specific order, so yeah. Now, we have to consider that uh, right now Arena has a big problem, which is the slingshot. So on top of no defense being able to sustain uh, most teams, so it will be always dependent on how many red stars you have on a specific character, how much gear tier 14s you have, how much T4s you have. Beyond that, we still have other problems like slingshot. And uh, yeah, so on Arena, you always want to use your beefiest characters and try to counter characters that are most uh, on the meta. And uh, this, uh, this list is in no specific order, it's just in my order of power of characters. Uh, so we'll go through them uh, and uh, see why they're good or not. So yeah, let's go. So first, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. Now this is a guy that usually it's not used on arena offense, but he can be used on arena defense in combination with Magneto. Uh, Magneto can uh, apply the blind and then he can uh, uh, increase the duration of the blinds or you can apply defense down to specific characters and make them die uh, faster and uh, yeah many of his abilities attack multiple targets then the stun is unavoidable and apply slow for two turns so you can get much use of this guy on defense depending on the characters you have with him he is good with magneto he can be good with ella he can be good with other characters that apply debuffs so while he's not the best character, uh, why, because he has so much utility and because he has huge stats, uh, he can be somewhat useful. But once again, no team can uh, stand on uh, um, arena defense and it's al always going to be based on uh, how lucky you are and how much your defense can counter the other, other characters. Okay, moving on. Next character, we have uh, Magneto. So Magneto is a great uh, character to have on defense because he can counter a few of the meta characters. He can counter Black Bolt, Crystal, he can counter somewhat Black Order, he can apply this rub to big tanks. Uh, so he can do many things to many characters. And he is a very beefy character, he's a legendary, he's a little bit expensive to get to gear tier 14. Uh, but in case you have the gear for it, and if you have the red stars, you should do it He's a great character. And uh, yeah, he does a lot of utility. And once again, if you have him with characters that can extend buffs and spread buffs, uh, he's going to be very useful. Now, moving on, we have uh, Phoenix. Phoenix is the queen of the arena. Not so much anymore, but you want to use her on offense. And obviously you want to use her as well on defense because whenever she dies, she explodes. So she will do a lot of damage to everyone, then she will apply defense down. So if you have characters that can do uh, big burst damage like uh, Symbiote Spider-Man, like Magneto, like Black Bolt, 
they are going to benefit a lot from that defense down she also has defensive abilities to your character she has dispel abilities uh, she can dispel with her basic she can dispel with her uh, ultimate when she's in normal form form so yeah she has a lot of utility and that's why she has been the queen of the arena for so long and she's still the queen of the arena uh, sort of for most part and uh, moving on we have Thanos now Thanos is uh, of course the main character from the Black Order and that team right now is the strongest team uh, is not unbeatable you can still beat it you can check out my video where I teach how to beat the Black Order with uh, a mix of Marauders and Ultron and yeah so he, ha he has a lot of value uh, on the Black Order of course because he's the main character but he has a lot of value outside of the Black Order as well if you pair him with characters like Black Bolt or Crystal or some other cosmic character that will benefit from the energy that he can provide that's going to be very helpful because you'll be able to do your burst damage really really, really fast and uh, he's beefy enough to sustain uh, a few hits because he has the counter on his basic he will block a few chain attacks and so on so yeah he's a very useful character not only on the black order but also outside of the black order with a few cosmic characters once again like crystal like black bolt that are beefy and that have very a lot of utility on their own beyond their big burst damage now we have mystique mystique on her own is not great when but when she is paired with magneto with uh, mr sinister and with other mutants she can uh, steal buffs from the enemy she can flip buffs and uh, the flipping buffs this t4 on her special is very very important not only for offense but also for defense on the first turn she does the ultimate and the ultimate is very important as well for arena because first he she mind controls sort of one character and gives 200 percent damage it's very very likely that she will kill one character uh, then she gets evade now this evade can be spread after with mr sinister uh, to other characters and that's very useful uh, if you have a lot of mutants and then our special once again it flips all the buffs that uh, the enemies have on top of removing stealth so she'll always remove stealth and she'll flip two buffs and if they have defense up from a phoenix or from an invisible woman or something like that she'll remove them and flipping them into defense down which will allow you to do way more damage so she's a very useful character not only on, on uh, offense also on defense and her ai is not terrible uh, so yeah moving on we have black bolt now black bolt is very good for arena because he's extremely beefy he has a lot of damage on his basic on uh, his special and of course on his ultimate the ultimate is not a turn one so that's why it might be useful to have him with characters like yo-yo or like uh, thanos that can provide him with some energy and uh, speed up the process of the ultimate and maybe a second special and so on now if you are facing characters like ultron and right now i don't consider ultron part of the arena meta he's going to completely destroy them and also if you are facing summoners like mr sinister or some kind of other summoner he's also going to apply disrupt to them while it's not super crazy all the time when you are attacking it can be still very disruptive no pun intended uh, intended if uh, the person who's attacking is distracted and then they mess up with the coordination of the attacks now we have mr sinister mr sinister he was better in the arena before now he's not so great he's still good but when phoenix was the meta of the arena he was way better because he would be able to clone phoenix and uh, she would be provided with a lot of damage and utility right now with so many black orders especially on attack and also on defense um yeah most of the times he's going to clone uh, Call Obsidian and while Call is okay, he, by himself is not great, so you'll not benefit much from that. So right now I'm not even using Mr. Sinister on my defense because if everyone is using Black Order, is just pointless and rather use other character. Uh, so yeah, he is okay, but if you are on very very high tier of arena, he is pointless. But if you are still in mid range, maybe on the 70% uh, higher rates 
uh, he's still going to do a good job. Now we have Ebony Maw. Ebony Maw came along to counter Phoenix because of his abilities. Every time a hero controller dies, he's a, he applies shield to everyone and uh, he gives uh, immunity to everyone, which prevents the defense down from Phoenix. Uh, he's great by himself. He can apply slow, he can heal, he can remove dodges, he can remove counters with his ultimate. He also applies defense up for two turns and if you are facing hero controllers or even other characters, his basic can provide with a lot of damage if you invest the T4s. The only T4 that is really essential is usually the, the special. The other ones are okay, but not really great for Arena. But if you are facing a team that has Phoenix as attacking character, then you want to have this guy on, uh, on your defense because he's going to annoy or make sure that Phoenix doesn't do all our show. Uh, but against Black Order, he is okay. He does good things like applying the offense down with a slow and so on. So it's not the best option against the Black Order, but he's an okay option. Now we have Strife, and you might be surprised by this, but Strife is a very good character in case you have him at a decent red stars. He's not the beefiest tank, but he has very, very high damage. And now with the improvements on his shield and so on, he got a little bit better. Uh, the thing about Strife and the thing that makes him so annoying is that if you have him paired up with Magneto, and Magneto does his ultimate and puts everyone together, Strife is going to ability block all of them. And uh, that's extremely annoying. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you, even if you are using the Black Order, if you are ability blocked by Strife on the second turn, he really holds you for a while. Because, uh, uh, for example, if you have uh, him ability blocking you, and if you have someone else applying slow, your Thanos ultimate will be ready uh, like on the fourth turn and it's gonna take a while to get there. And uh, yeah, I think Strife, he still needs a rework. I, I think his special should uh, remove all buffs, all debuffs from him. I think his basic should uh, not only copy the buffs and apply them to Mr. Sinister, should also apply the buffs to himself uh, because he's, he's considered a protector, but he's actually more of a brawler. So he should have a little bit more versatility on his kit, but maybe we'll see that in the future uh, on uh, his next uh, rework. But yeah, this guy, if you have him at uh, 7 yellows, which you can get right now because he's on the Blitz uh, credits, and if you can get him with really high red stars, he, he can uh, do some pre pretty nasty things on arena defense together with the right characters. Invisible Woman. Invisible Woman, she is a great character. She can give barrier. She can apply defense up for two turns. She can give herself shield with her basic and she can remove debuffs from uh, 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 your allies. So many times uh, I've seen the people that use Invisible Woman together with Colossus and Phoenix and Black Bolt. So whenever those characters are attacked, uh, they have a lot of uh, shield because she's beefy and she gives a good amount of shield to them. And then uh, when uh, the phoenix puts everyone on stealth and then if you are able to remove the stealth invisible woman can put them again back in stealth and uh, that will protect them for a very long time if you don't have a character like uh, mystique or in the future emma frost to remove that invis invisibility so while she's not a great character uh, she can do many good things as a protector and uh, yeah, if you have like her at uh, five, six red stars, she is going to be a, a great uh, character for arena defense. She can be very, very, very annoying with her shields and with the, with the defense subs and so on that she gives. Now we have Ghost Rider. <laughs> Ghost Rider, if you have him at uh, a high red stars, six or, yeah, it should be at six. You can ask our boy Casino how much he loves uh, Ghost Rider on Arena Defense. This guy is annoying as hell. If you have Phoenix or uh, uh, Ultron or something like that in your team that dies, and but then you can you still use them, he's gonna shoot you for 500% of his base damage. 
So if you have him at high red stars and he has a nice amount of attack, he, he does so much damage with his uh, special, he's just insane. And uh, he can give energy to himself uh, because of his uh, passive. So just imagine a situation that he starts with his special, then uh, the enemy kills Phoenix, gets 500% on his face, and then he can do the special once again. It's just insane the amount of burst damage this guy can do in uh, arena. And that's why Casino loves to face him in arena. He, this guy is such a pain in the ass. Uh, and uh, it was a meme for quite a while uh, how badass this guy, because there was a seven red star on his arena shard and it was just insane how much work uh, this guy alone could uh, uh, do. So yeah, Ghost Rider with the right team he can do a lot of damage. You just need to give him some protection and just wait uh, your enemies to kill the other characters and then uh, watch. Uh, you can't watch, but if you'd, if you'd be able to see it just this guy back to back 500% in his face. Now we have Loki. Loki, not many people use him on defense, but sometimes I see a few teams that have Loki on defense his mind control ability can be really strong if he targets the right guy and uh, for example if he targets Ebony Maw and he kills Ebony Maw that's going to be a big problem for the team attacking and then he provides some uh, stealth with uh, his ultimate and some annoying uh, tokens or mirror images and so on uh, but yeah some people use him it's not very often but I have seen it Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on which other character you have. If you have like Captain Marvel to also nuke, it, nuke that target and so on. So he's okay, but uh, yeah, it's very situational and it really depends on your arena chart. If you're on a very advanced one, maybe it's not going to be so great. Now we have Yo-Yo, like Yo-Yo is amazing, but make sure she's the only protector, otherwise she's not gonna work. So yeah, uh, while this limits a little bit your options, you can still do great teams with her. And of course you want to pair her with a Black Bolt at least. But if you pair her with as well with Crystal, she's going to be amazing because she will provide energy to them and she'll protect them as well. And she can give a dodge to Inhumans and defense subs and so on. So yeah, she has some tricks up her sleeves and that can help a lot the uh, inhumans on arena defense and especially with their basics you'll get more attacks from them as well crystal can uh, give some slows that are very important and also the assist from the other inhumans now we have captain marvel captain marvel she was big in the arena some time ago she's still okay i still face her every now and then on arena defense she's not that great anymore uh, because the Black Order is so powerful and is so beefy but uh, against uh, mid-range meta teams she can still do some damage with her ultimate uh, and uh, she's still annoying because of her passive she has so much healing and so on if you can give her some uh, good sustain and other characters to be annoying as well uh, she'll be okay but once again this is like mid-range meta because against the Black Order uh, she's not beefy enough and she cannot provide the utility enough to be relevant. Now we have Cyclops and uh, Cyclops is okay for arena defense. The problem is that he's not farmable and not many people have him at uh, high red stars. But this guy together with Phoenix and uh, maybe with Colossus, he can do a lot of damage and sometimes people are not prepared for how much damage he can deal so fast. So it's recommended that you use uh, the T4 on his ultimate and uh, yeah, like this guy can do some big burst damage and then you are like, what? What just happened? And uh, then we just a few basics from uh, Phoenix uh, and yeah, your team is gone. I face him a few times and uh, if you are not really focusing on him, he is going to destroy you. And uh, if the other team has a big Colossus on defense as well, you'll not be able to go through to the Colossus if you are not using a Disruptor like Magneto. 
and uh, yeah i can see this guy together with colossus and so on to do some problems to a uh, black order in a uh, arena now we have the blob <laughs> the blob is one of my favorite characters and he's so good like why are not people talking more about the blob he's so good and he's not only good on the brotherhood he's good anywhere you can put this guy on anywhere and he's going to be amazing but we're going to talk about that in another video like just wait for the video about the blob uh, because this guy is just on another level he's so annoying he does so many counters and uh, because of his passive and his passive is not uh, like uh, call obsidian that has a specific attack on the passive no he, the blob actually does counters and because of his basic uh, he applies slow on his basic that's very annoying and uh, he also applies turn rewind if you can apply disrupt to them it's not often that you can do that but yeah this guy is annoying and if you have this guy at uh, five or six red stars uh, start farming him and get him geared up because he's going to be very very annoying on the, the arena and he might be part of the meta on the arena team uh, in the future we'll have to wait and see but i see so much potential on this guy is just crazy now we have the juggernaut he's another protector and another guy from the brotherhood uh he's not as great as he was before but if you still have him paired with uh, magneto and if you can put all the enemies together in one place this guy at six red stars and if you have phoenix applying defense down to the enemies or at least clearing the buffs uh, with the invisible woman or emma frost or something like that this guy is going to do some huge damage and he can take a, a few pounds without uh, moving and uh, yeah like if you are lucky enough to have him at uh, high red stars i would uh, definitely invest on him he's mystic so just wait maybe to finish dark dimension 3 and then have some surplus of uh, mystic gear to invest in him and uh, if you are still a mid-range player this is going to be a great option for you as well if you have him paired with Magneto and with some other characters. He's not a mutant, so keep that in mind. He's not going to be benefit much from Mr. Sinister. Now we have Cull Obsidian. Cull Obsidian is great uh, on the Black Order, obviously, but we are not going to talk about the Black Order. We are going to talk about him by himself or maybe together with Thanos and Ebonimo. Not many people are using him as a standalone. Why would you if uh, you have a black order? But in case you have a very, very low Proxima Midnight and a very low Corvus, you could consider uh, using uh, Call Obsidian together with Thanos, Ebonimo, Black Bolt, and uh, Phoenix, and that would make a very solid team. He still does a lot of damage with uh, his passive if he's together with other guys, even if he's not uh, in. Uh, the empowered form for Thanos so he's still going to provide a lot of ass kicking in arena it's just all about uh, do you have the yellow stars for him I have him at five but no yellow stars so uh, it's uh, pointless to use him but yeah it can definitely be used outside of the black order in case you have the, the two other guys uh, very low now we have crystal and crystal she's a pain in the ass sometimes with her passive shields so much she clears negative effects and she reduces the speed bar of uh, the enemies and if you have a way to apply slow to the characters she's going to do so much damage with her ultimate it's just insane and yeah if you have her paired together with black bolt with yo-yo she's going to do a lot and uh, yeah there is a uh, seven red stars uh, uh, crystal on my arena chart and she's very annoying I can still beat her but sometimes it's it's dangerous uh, it's once again you have to use like characters like magneto or something like that to blind them otherwise uh, they're going to be a problem uh, but sometimes they are they are together with the invisible woman or something like that and the blind uh, gets cleared away and uh, yeah <laughs> they do a lot of damage Okay, we have talked about Colossus before and his combination with Cyclops and Phoenix. He's super, super beefy. He starts right away with the defense up. 
if you have the t4 on the passive he's going to have that even sub for two turns and then he can extend with his ultimate he's very very beefy he's very very annoying to get rid of in uh, arena defense uh, so if you have him at six red stars or even five he's going to be very annoying he applies offense down for two turns in case you have the t4 on his basic is so so annoying and uh, yeah together with cyclops together with phoenix maybe ebony Mo, and maybe some other character he's going to be extremely annoying and can put your team in danger uh, when you are attacking them because he gives so much defense to the other two just make sure he's far away from cyclops and he's somewhere near phoenix but not too close uh, that uh, he's giving splash damage uh, from the other characters so yeah those are the 20 characters that i think are most important for arena defense now we are going through a few combinations that you can make with them of course uh, you want uh, uh, to have the x-men for example once again like i said colossus X, uh, X, uh, cyclops phoenix the three together maybe with the black bolt maybe with ebony Mo. They, they're going to cause some problems and the burst damage is so high that uh, uh, you'll not be expecting and it can be a problem for you then of course we have the black order and the black order they are great on defense not invincible and if you have low yellow stars and red stars on a few other characters maybe the team can fall apart very easily so you need to be careful with that as well then we have the mutant villains marauders brotherhood there, there is a combination of villain mutants that you can use on arena defense in case you have the red stars for it and they can be extremely annoying and uh, even if they are if you are able to beat them they will frustrate you so much that uh, you'll not uh, uh, be pleased to attack them next time and you will avoid them and that's another way that uh, you can win on defense is when your team is so annoying that people have like this taste to attack them then we have a combination of inhumans now in case you want to use Thanos with crystal and ebony Mo, that's a great combination if you want to use uh, ebony Mo, uh black bolt uh, uh, yo-yo and crystal that's another great combination as well there are a few combinations that you can use the inhumans and make them uh, viable for arena defense uh, is once again make sure your characters are able to survive for a long time they have a lot of burst damage to surprise uh, who is attacking and uh, make sure that your team is so annoying that uh, people will not be pleased of attacking them and uh, in the end uh, uh, it's all about the red stars do you have the right red stars do you have the right uh, gear tier 14 characters and so on right now we don't have isolate isolate is going to help a lot in the arena changing the meta a little bit we will have maybe more defensive teams maybe we'll have more offensive teams with a specific attack to be a little bit more disruptive but that's something we have to see in the future uh, so yeah that's going to be the video guys my tips for arena defense the 20 characters that you should consider for arena defense in case you have them with a nice amount of red stars and yellow stars the combinations you can make with them and so on so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do you smash that like button like a boss if you found this video helpful make sure you share it with your friends on discord facebook and so on uh, if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe if you are already subscribed and make sure uh, you join my discord by becoming a member I'm considering uh, making roster reviews because many people have been asking me for that. Right now the membership, it only gives you access to the Discord, but maybe I'll make uh, another tier that will give uh, um, the ability of getting monthly roster reviews and stuff like that. So once again, I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I'll see you guys later.